Hi everyone and welcome. This is a bonus episode of Seek Sustainable Japan. I'm your host, JJ Walsh. And in this short bonus episode, we had a chance to talk with the design team of 2M26 at their Minka, traditional Japanese home, where they have redone the thatch with traditional methods using uh, the artisan design as well as uh, harvesting the materials themselves. And this was a part of the 2024 Minka Summit event, which was held in rural Kyoto in Hanase Village, just over the hill, 30 minute drive from this area. And it was great to be able to visit the artisans and see their Minka for ourselves um, as a part of the great talks an event of the Minka Summit. Isn't a traditional Japanese thatch roof so beautiful? In Japanese it's called Kayabuki. And here I had a chance to talk with Melanie Herdesbosch. Uh, she is part of the design team 2M26. And this is their Minka, traditional Japanese house that she's talking about uh, redoing the straw version of the thatch roof that was underneath the tile and metal roof when they moved in a year ago. And for two years we, we collected like quite seriously in, in autumn, like every day and, and and last year in autumn, in October, we started dismantling the the metal and and replacing all the kaya so we could the old kaya was still there, so we uh, could recycle mm -hmm. quite a lot of it, maybe one fourth of it. Mm. What did you use it for? Like for under the floor or? Oh no, for the roof again. Oh, the roof again. Yeah. Oh, nice. So we we bundled again what was on the roof uh -huh. and and we used it again okay. in the roof. Nice. So this plus the the kaya we harvested for two years covered more than half of the roof it, itself. So we had to buy like a bit less than half of material and this is true for kaya but we also harvested the bamboo uh, some log uh, so as much material as we could of course to uh, reduce the cost but also to increase quality of the material mm -hmm. because by harvesting uh, ourselves we could harvest at the good timing so for example bamboo is like that there are there is one month where it's good to harvest bamboo so that there is no insects coming in or it will dry well and it oh, won't uh, get get uh, moldy mm -hmm. so uh by respecting the, this timing we we uh we were surprised to hear from the craftsman that th the material was m better quality than what he usually gets because he would buy uh, bamboo from uh, Takeya, like Takeya-san, from, but they they cut the bamboo like all the time. So, um, like same for the rice straw, or uh, he was he was quite like surprised by by the quality we could have. Plus the the fact that you spend time in the in the area, learn how how the land was made and, and, and exchanged more with, with people around. So it was also a big part of the roof in parallel of actually making it. And that, that definitely tells us that the architecture is, is just at the end of the process. It's just because you maintain your land, because you uh, harvest different material, you, you can uh, maintain your land, you can increase diversity, and then you can get the free material for for your construction. And and in the end, you, architecture is, is built. But, but this is really part of wider process where, which, which starts by environment around you. So, and I know you said earlier uh, you were learning from mm -hmm. the artisan who was helping you, mm -hmm. but he said it was much faster. You finished in two months or something, right? Yeah, uh, like it, the craftsman could 
concentrate on making the roof, like uh, both Sebastian and me, plus few friends who came to, to help. Like It was not the same number of people every day, but we had many people coming to help. And we could deal with all the work in parallel, meaning like cleaning, meaning bringing the material, cutting the material, all the, the other gestures that are needed. And if we are not here, the craftsman has to do it mm. in the same time. So yeah. then the time is, is double yeah. because they just do everything, and which is, which is the common. Yeah. Um, so. And uh, you were talking about the scissors trying to find the right oh, tools yeah yeah. yeah yeah like uh they are very specific to not a lot but they are very specific hand tools to to anyway like yeah. the the needle to to put the the rope inside the roof or the scissors to cut it this is just for finish for finishing but all these tools uh are quite difficult to to find right now because uh, less kayabuki, less such roof craftsmen are working, so there are less craftsmen making the tools, and <coughs> and and so it, it was yeah it was uh, pretty hard to find them, and more like coming from stock of old craftsmen who stopped working mm -hmm. than ordering someone to make it new. Mm -hmm. uh, and I saw you using the two styles. Is it rice and uh, s different kinds of straw, like two different materials, or? So yeah, like uh, one point also we learn is, in general, it's it's best to mix the material you use. Meaning, like if you do with exactly the same plan, uh, you'll get the, the roof will be made from the same kind of structure of grass, and so. Uh, it will be good for one thing, but bad for the other. Mm. So by mixing different grass, you, you get the properties of, of each grass, and it, it increases the the resistance, the like waterproof, like the the strength of the roof. Mm -hmm. So at first, the the different color we can see this is actually straw. Uh, the long mochi straw, mochi rice straw, and this is used mainly for creating thickness at the beginning of, mm. of the, the roof. Uh, so it it could be also like aesthetical point of view because you can you can see in some uh, such roof that they even play with those colors and put different kind of grass so that there is a motif coming. Ah, right. Yeah. And uh, so. In that roof, we used the uh, rice straw, then we used the old kaya, and the old kaya which was inside the roof, and this old kaya was uh, smoked for so long, so it's the, the black line you can see. Okay, yeah. And then the new kaya, it's like the one we harvested around here, mm -hmm. like Suzuki, but it's uh, also the the kaya that we bought from the craftsman. So one type is coming from Aso, and one type is coming from nearby Fujisa. Mm -hmm. These are the two uh, the the two places in Japan where they still maintain and cut the the kaya for interesting, for, uh, still craftsmen. growing and producing. Yeah, yeah. and it's it, you you can really tell which one is which one, like. Uh, the, the one coming from Aso is, is very thin and very regular. Mm -hmm. So the bundle are, are really like, uh, like uh, really straight. And, mm -hmm. and, but the one we harvest has many leaves. So it's, it's a bit more fluffy. Yeah. So that's why it's good to, to mix it. And, and then one friend brought us some Yoshi uh, that he harvested in Akita. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's it's a happy mix of, yeah. of different grasses from Japan. And <laughs> gifts, gifts from friends too, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, how lovely. How do you feel living in a Kayabuki house? Do you, you're happy? It's like, a, it's so s silent. It's so much, uh, the sound is very different because... Uh, you don't hear the, the sound of the rain, which before was totan, was metal, so of course the sound was really different. But it, it has really something about about kind of silence, uh, which is really strong. And 
and then for I mean we'll see this summer it's going to be the first summer with such roof but already in winter in the winter when the humidity is high it can be colder inside the house than outside wow. just by, by the humidity feeling and and this was already completely different because uh, the wind can can go and the humidity just go up in the roof so uh, it's really like a sponge the the because of the 60 cents thickness of the roof there is a part that is always humid and and this we could already feel it plus the fact that for the first times we could make fire inside the house so this is a new way to see our how see and feel because uh, the light is completely different the heat is different the smoke is uh, going inside the the roof so yeah we, we discovered new new feelings uh, since we since we finished nice. and and that promise good 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 time I think <laughs> So we moved here three years ago, and at that time the, the roof was covered uh, by metal. And by spending the first summer, we realized how the house needs to breathe, and the, the humidity needs to go out somewhere from, from, from wind. So we decided, okay, like almost as soon as we moved here, we, we decided, okay, we want to start the renovation of this house by the roof. So we started to collect information, look for a uh, craftsman, and also started to collect the, the material. So uh, finding the place where we could harvest the, the kaya. So, and Suzuki is growing wild everywhere. It was also wonderful to see their rescue horses that they saved before they became basashi, horse sashimi in Japan and uh, made a beautiful horse stable as well as gorgeous dog houses and the most gorgeous little chicken coop. And many of you seem a bit surprised that I was taking pictures of the toilet, but this is such a simple, beautiful design of something everybody needs in their house, a compost toilet, especially in the rural areas where you don't have the sewage infrastructure, you don't want to create pollution. Really, um, this is a great uh, alternative to the traditional waste of water and resources and creation of pollution that most standard toilets are. Um, so look into it, just using sawdust and putting our waste back into the earth in a much more natural way. So big thanks once again to Melanie and Sebastian for opening up their home and allowing us all to come and visit as a part of the Minka Summit 2024 this year. I hope to see more of you at the event next year. And um, if you're interested in the wonderful, beautiful, stylish wooden designs and works that they do, uh, have a look at their website, 2m26.com. And please make sure to write your comments, questions, and what did you think of redoing the old thatch roof by 2m26? Look forward to hearing from you and see you next time.